New this morning, we're taking a look at why President Biden wants you in an electric vehicle. Right now, the president's infrastructure plan includes $174 billion to encourage Americans to switch from gas powered vehicles to electric. Despite hesitancy among many drivers, electric vehicles are growing in popularity. But why? Here's our why guy to explain. It appears America is prepared to charge into the future. Right now, less than 2% of the vehicles on U.S. roadways run on electricity. But more and more Americans are warming to the idea of electric cars. The majority of people that were wary, wary of electric vehicles is we're, we're way past that. And they are getting cheaper and the longevity of them. 40% of the drivers surveyed by Consumer Reports expressed interest in buying an electric vehicle. The number goes up to 78% when it comes to millennial drivers. Let's look at why the idea is becoming more popular. Auto manufacturers are shifting toward electric. General Motors plans to introduce 30 new models in 2025 and go all electric by 2035. You know, they have trucks, they have midsize, they have SUVs now to fit, you know, different lifestyles and family needs. On average, the sticker price of an electric vehicle is more. President Biden is promising tax credits, rebates, and other incentives to lure drivers toward the more environmentally friendly way of travel. Zach Simmons with Carvana explains why maintenance costs are cheaper. In the gas powered vehicle, you have a lot of moving parts. You've got your engine and all the pistons and they're moving. In an electric vehicle, you have much less moving parts and you have uh, more efficiency. According to the U.S. Department of Energy, there are more than 40,000 charging stations nationwide with more to come. Georgia Power has added 50 across the state. But they're in grocery store parking lots, they're at gas stations now, they're at your local Burger King or your Dunkin' Donuts. As for power, there are Teslas that will go from zero to 60 in 2.4 seconds. We got to get with the times. And if you have a question for Jerry Carnes, our why guy, be sure to send it to us on Facebook, Twitter, or email. Let's send it.